You have welcomed me home. You have recognized me, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Jefferson Club, Mizzou, and all who have brought me here, you have made me feel wonderful. Thank you. This is the foundation of intergenerational relations. We are not bound to give to the next generation. No one is telling us to do this. It is our spontaneous, natural disposition. And it's that sense of love for the rising generation that moves us forward. You right. have a responsibility to the person who comes next, and you have to pay attention to that. To teach them to learn, to grow, to have challenges, to overcome those challenges, is what we do. I am an example of what happens when you support this university. I'm so proud to be a part of this family. This university made a big difference to me in that program because when I came here, I was actually just leaving home for the first time because I lived at home for college. So coming here was that difference. It was this campus, the education I got here. And I should add, I was proud on each of my four shuttle flights to take along my MU banner and put it up on the wall. My sense of what life would be, which was an adventure. And as I said before, all the different jobs, all the different mediums, all the different people you meet throughout life, it's been just great. And it would have never happened in the way that it happened if it weren't for the University of Missouri Journalism School. In a public setting where people know that I'm gonna be there, I'll get at least one MIC. And I, if I hear it, I will always respond. Even if it's an aside, if I'm in the middle of an interview or something, there will always be a response. It's fun. I mean, it's really fun. It's really cool. It's like an inside joke, but it's an inside joke shared with like a quarter million people. Someone like me can flourish at Mizzou, and I think that's something um, that Mizzou should be proud of. That Mizzou should be proud of nurturing that kind of intellectual community. I really don't belong where I've gotten, and I wouldn't have made it to where I've made it to without the faculty, without my fellow students, and without everything this university devotes itself to, both then and now.